What's going on Wix Nation? I'm fired up and what happens when MPS is fired up? A Wix video comes out of it. So if you guys are brand new here on the channel, thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to discover the seven underrated Wix features slash Wix apps you probably didn't know about or maybe you did and you're going to experience some new awesomeness from one of the other apps. So listen, as we get into this video, you likely fall into a, a, a one of the following buckets. Either one, uh, you don't currently use Wix and you're looking at what Wix has to offer and these features are going to resonate with you. Two, you do use Wix and you didn't know about these features and these features are going to resonate with you. Or three, you used to use Wix and you're reconsidering now that you see all that Wix has done. Listen, if you're in any of these brackets, no, you are welcome here on this video and I appreciate you watching. In fact, what I would like you to take a moment and do is like, comment, and if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content here on the channel. That's right. I'm going to give you two seconds. To go do that. Ready? One, two, perfect. I hope you hit that subscribe button in that time period. It's much appreciated. It's a great way to say thank you to me if you feel like you've got value from today's video. But without further ado, I would like to jump into today's content and I think that you will find these very cool, very helpful, and hopefully you'll be able to use some of these apps or features right away. All right, let's get into it. Okay, the first tool slash app I would like to review with you, and this is something I actually just recently created a video on. You can get it up in the cards, which is how to build an online course in Wix, is Wix's new app, Online Program. So if you scroll down, you can actually go to apps here from your dashboard, and you can manage your apps and see available apps. And again, I'm not doing a deep dive on each individual app in this video but I have videos that I've done deep dives as I go through some of these I want to give you the high level 30,000 foot view but this Wix online programs guys Wix online programs is a phenomenal app see what online programs allows you to do is it allows you to create multi-step courses here on Wix whether that means you're creating challenges whether that means you're building courses uh, it allows you to drip content it allows you to send automation uh, add quizzes to your content it allows you to add certificates once the contents completion completed it allows you to do courses over multiple week time frames it allows you to take payment plans on courses it allows you to charge one-time payments it allows you to require people to be members to access certain courses it allows you to do the work when it comes to building an online course in Wix, it's Wix's stab at a learning ma learning management system, and it's done really, really well. They took your feedback and they implemented it very well. All right, so that's number one. Number two, I know we're going to dive into the sexy, sexy thing here in the world of numbers. That's right, but this is a very, very nifty new tool. Now, granted, I'm a big advocate for Google Analytics, but if you just need some quick off-the-cuff numbers about where you stand and how many subscribers you're adding, I would like to introduce analytics and reports from Wix. So if you go down here on the left-hand side in your dashboard, you can go to analytics and reports. Now I'm going to share some data here and you're going to see some analytics and reports. But what's really cool is you've got a lot of overviews. You can do a traffic overview. You can do a sales overview. You can do a people overview. So you can get perspective on how many subscribers you're adding. You can go to the reports column here. And when you go to the reports column, you'll be able to choose any of these reports that you want to run your marketing and SEO what are your top traffic sources how are they performing what are people's behavior how are people behaving on your members app if you've got members how many people are showing up your top paying customers customers over time new versus returning customers Wix has gotten really sophisticated in providing you a lot of reporting data drives decision making right at least it should you should make your decisions business-wise by using data to make the best decision possible. Analytics and reports helps you do that. All right, let's move into number three. Number three also found from the dashboard, automations. Guys, automations is an incredible tool by Wix. It's basically 
the if then statement, right? So what I mean by that is if X happens, then Y. So for instance, let's create a new automation. So let's create the real life uh, uh, if then. So you choose an app and you choose a trigger. Let's just say you've got someone that uh, becomes a subscriber on your site. So when, if someone becomes a subscriber on your site, choose to, then what happens? What's the action? Send an email to that contact, right? We want to send them a welcome email. You could come in here. You could customize the welcome email. You can even choose the timing and the frequency. How often does this happen? And that's just a very basic example. You can get very sophisticated in types of automations you create. When someone pays an invoice, X happens, right? There's a lot of different ways you can work through that automation. Okay, number four on our list, workflows. So workflows are very helpful when you're running a business and using Wix as your CRM to run your business as well. Why? Because it allows you to create standardized workflows. So this is an example, a web design workflow. So when a new lead comes in, here's what happens, right? Here's the task that needs to happen and you can link it to a contact specifically. Then you can reach it or you can uh, know what's the next task. You contacted them. What was the outcome of that? You can link it to a contact. Then you have your sales conversation. I don't like negotiation. It should be sales first. You have your sales conversation, right? Then what happened? You can link it to them. So what workflows do does is it allows you to create several workflows for different processes in your business. It allows you to put what's in your head in on, for lack of better terms, paper, right? It allows you to write out your workflow. So that way you've got standard operating procedures, SOP. So that way, when you go to grow and scale your business, you replace yourself and you can plug someone else into that role. But since you've got the standard operating procedures there, it's a lot easier to train that person and get them up to speed because you've got these workflows there. All right. Number five, I think this is something Wix has done a phenomenal job with over the past few years, and it's the different payment methods that they offer. So if you go to settings, e-commerce and finance, accept payments, you have to have a business and e-commerce plan to accept payments. Um, but likely you already have that if you're looking at this, but accepting payments, Wix has so, so, so added to the ability or to the type of payment methods you can accept. They've built, number one, their own in-house Wix payment software. What do I mean by this? Well, they've built their own credit card processor. So that's right. You can take all of these major credit cards straight through Wix payment processor. You could even take Apple Pay, PayPal. But here's the best thing. You can go down to see more payment options now, and now they've got all of these different payment options. Now I've got a video on accepting payments and I went through each of these, but I just here I'm just here to show you that you've got a variety of different ways you can accept payments now on your website. It, it's incredible. It provides more accessibility to people out there, right? Number six, if we go to the marketing and SEO tab and go to SEO tools. Guys, when's the last time you've checked out the Wix SEO tools? If you haven't, look, here it is. That's right. All of these tools, some of these are very sophisticated tools that they give you access to. They put the power in your hands to be able to come in and manage your SEO on your website and get it done What while you optimize your SEO. You can use their um, Wix SEO wizard to get found on Google and it'll take you through a step-by-step -step process. Uh, you can create um, SEO patterns and do site verifications on meta tags on Google. You can have a URL redirect manager so you can redirect URLs. You can add your uh, robots.txt so when Google starts to crawl your page they can get information they need or you can add your site maps, your XML site maps to optimize your SEO. Right? They have equipped you with all of the proper tools to make sure your website is absolutely optimized for SEO so that way you rank as best as possible, right? And then we move into our last feature slash tool. And I think this is very underrated. So if I go up here and I go to create new site, I think that their new um, process to walk you through building your initial site is so impressive. But here, this, this, this screen right here, this is what I think is so impressive. They allow you to choose between 
the traditional Wix editor that gives you, you know, your standard control. If you've ever watched any of the content on my channel, I use the traditional Wix editor and then they allow you to use editor X, which is their new responsive editor. And I, I know you guys want more editor X content. Trust me. I hear you, but this should not be under underestimated. This is underrated right here. The fact that you get to choose your path and oh, by the way, if you wanted to use Wix ADI, which is their artificial design intelligence, it will design your site for you. Granted, you may have to switch it up and uh, you know make some adjustments to add the exact customizations you want, but they've got an option for that too. That's underrated. So guys, these were the seven features slash apps here on Wix that I believe are completely underrated. I don't know what bucket you fell into when we were first discussing those buckets earlier, but here's what I do know. I know that I want to see you here more often. I know that I want you to be part of our Wix Nation community, and that happens by you clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on, and also heading down to the link in the description below and joining the academy. I've got a ton of free Wix training content over there. It's for you absolutely free. Just punch in your email, create an account, and it's all yours. All right. Um, also like and comment, comment and say, Michael, I subscribed or comment and say, Michael, I went and joined the site. I want to celebrate you. I want to, I want to celebrate you in the comments. I want to make sure you're highlighted. You could even become a member here on the channel and, and show your support that way. That's more of a financial support. Um, you don't have to do that. You're more than welcome to, but I want to celebrate you. So comment and let me know that you did it. Comment and say, Michael, I subscribed or you earned yourself a sub. I appreciate you. I truly, truly do. And I want to celebrate you because without you, this channel doesn't happen. This isn't possible. We're not able to bring on a new content creator like we just did. You are the reason we're able to do that. And I am deeply, deeply appreciative of you for that. So I want to celebrate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found value in today's video. I hope you can go try to use some of these new tools. And I will catch you in the next one. Uh, be on the lookout for a video from Sarah coming up um, as she continues her WTF, What the Funnel series. She's doing a fantastic job over there. Make sure you show her some support. And if you're not watching her videos yet because you're like, eh, I don't know if I need a funnel, watch her videos. It's helpful and applicable to everyone that has a website and has a business. Watch the videos. Anyway, thank you guys. Show some love here on the channel and let me celebrate you.